again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I just finished making a video and those tools in it. So I am going to make myself a dish of colors that I love. And from there, I'm going to add, if I can, from there I'm going to, I've got a fresh skewer, woohoo. And uh, from there I'm going to add some, whoa, okay. Well, at least I know it'll come out. I'm going to put a little bit of that in there, actually. <laughs> From there, what? I don't know what. <laughs> I was saying something, and something went. Use a little bit of that. I don't think I need a whole lot of anything right now. And, of course, I'm grabbing colors that are not in the colors that I put aside. I have shaken all my colors. All my colors have Floetrol and uh, Decor Pouring Medium half and half with a mix of eight parts paint to two parts GAC 800 by Golden, which makes sure for me, yes, I'm going to do that, uh, that the paint doesn't crack when it dries. So over here, I'm thinking basic rainbow would work with what I have in mind. All I want to do is sacrifice a canvas to my practice run. I'm going to put some of that Art Minds Mystique in the same container as that other turquoise color shift, which I might regret and I might not. And I think I'm going to definitely want some more red back in here again and finish up with my purple probably too. Oh, I love that purple. Yes, the, select, the full selection of rainbow colors. I don't want to go too crazy in the ice cube tray right now because I'm nervous that... Uh, and she adds another color. I'm nervous I won't get to use all my paint up. But I do have a few other canvases hanging around. And I am... Uh, I do totally love that turquoise from Folk Art Color Shift. So let's... Yes, there we go. I'm going to finish with the purple. I can use some of that red. Probably. Oh boy. That just exploded. I need to find my. Um, okay, so I lied. You're used to it. <laughs> I need to find my white pearl. And I need to have a lot of that and maybe some of that in here. Just because I can. Oh, the name of my book on the Amazon link. I love it when that happens. Uh, what else? Maybe a little Prussian blue. Whoa. My caps need to all be cleaned. I think. Uh, that will be for the day after. I have a lesson tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and risk it and use some of this uh, beautiful neon purple from Folk Art. Even though, unless it's with white, it usually disappears on me. And I'm going to lay down some white and not worry about the rest of it. I'm going to try and have clean hands. That should be an interesting idea right there. Put my little scoops over to one side and my dish of colors over to the other side. Can I get that level? Okay, I have major purple paint under my fingernails and I have a 12 by 24 inch black prime canvas, which I really like to put this way, but since the camera's up there, I think I'm gonna do it the way we can. So let's start with one of our new scoops. And my idea is, I think I'm going to go from this side, and maybe I'll just drip some stuff. Let me do what I was doing the other day and wipe the bottom off. So far it'll go. I got a blob. I don't care. I'm just going to let that drain down to the bottom a little bit because I can. I want to spread it out too. <laughs> I want a lot. I want to give myself every opportunity to get what I want is what I want to do without taking away that cute little orange spot at the bottom that I love there. And I'm going to do a couple more of those. Hopefully not blob again, but I guess I don't mind because little shafts of wheat have little heads on them, so that ought to be okay. 
In fact, I could probably do that. If I can't, I don't know it yet, because nobody's told me I can't. Nobody's here to tell me I can't do anything. Yeah, no, I don't mind that. I do kind of want a little more of the orange and the yellow that I took out. That was foolish. All right, so some more of that is going in there. And I could probably just take it right out of my other container, and I might do that in a second. Whoa, lost a top. All right, so I really want to use all the sizes of my scoops, but I'm not sure that that's going to happen. You have to go a little bit slow to let the, the paint drain out of your tool. You can stop. Come on. Thank you. Yes, that's pretty. I like that. You have the luxury of having a little more time than I do. But if you're willing to let things drain, they're going to be pretty. That sounded funny. All right, so what do I want to do? I want to take one of my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and just drag some of those colors right down to the bottom because I can. And that way, maybe I can grab a finger full of them and lead them over the bottom and check my others at the same time, which are actually leaving a trail of paint, which is fine. All right, so let's try a different size scoop. I know I should probably clean that up, but I just can't yet. <laughs> let's try one of the little cottage cheese lids. Obviously, I'm going to have like a ton more paint than I need. This time I'm going to start further up. See that thing in there? It does not belong. Come out, thing. I'm going to scrape off my bottom and I'm going to wish that bug had just not landed on my arm when I was trying to put my paint down on my canvas. I might steal a little paint just to encourage the rest of the paint in my scoop to come out. I like these little these little patterns are very cute. I like them so much I'm tempted to add more probably to distraction. <laughs> if you dip it in you can bring it over somewhere else. So I said I wanted to tip that, and I do, but I don't. So what I mean by that is it didn't run when I tipped it, so I'm not going to do that anymore. But I am going to use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula number two. And just lead some stuff up that way. I really am very tempted to grab, where is it? I don't know where it is smallest scoop of all and I'm not seeing it so I'm just going to grab this other one. I'm going to grab some green and some blue and some green again. Some more green. Yes. So that's just a three color combination. And it is dragging out a nice long way which I actually appreciate very much. And since it's a black canvas and the paint is heavy down there, I'm just going to use my finger to lead it down over the edge. I'm also going to dip one of my other tools back into the multicolored paint. And make a different kind of flower form, or whatever. This is more like grass than anything. But we are having fun experimenting, and I want to uh, I want to use the plain straight up card again. I think I would like some darker blue in there, but I'm not sure how to get that other than to just go ahead and put a little bit in there. So I just I just added some Prussian blue right in there, and then I'm going to come over here, and you can see I'm going back and forth. Whoops, 
Almost went too far. Doesn't matter if the edges are a little rough. It really doesn't. Because you can always go right back and add a little something something. We got some pretty cells happening. The paint is thick at the bottom and I'm going for it. I want to just turn this around. I also want to dip my card in the purple and make... Actually I want to dip it in the purple again and bring it right up there. Make little buds. Pretty little buds. Surprise! I like it. Yeah, so I don't know how much more of this I need. I might wind up just dribbling a few things. I definitely won't be tipping it to make it uh, go too far. I'm going to use some paint over here. I was going to say something and it just went right away as soon as I scraped that paint. Yeah, don't forget to wipe your bottom. Let's wipe that right down again. I'm going to go right inside that. Can I? Yeah, I'm alright with that. Wow, do I really want to do that? See how far we can push our, our limits. Got a really cute little peacock feather top on that. I think I can even go up further than that. I just continuously dipping my card tip in the color. And maybe a few more times. I've got four minutes left, which I'm kind of happy about. My camera shuts off at 20, in case anybody's wondering. I got some beautiful colors. I'm going to need to go find out if I got another black canvas around here somewhere. I kind of want to make that happen again over here. Just rest one corner. rest the top, let most of it deposit before I lower the rest. That's kind of fun. I do want to just make some, whoop, that's my timer. Maybe I should show you guys first. <laughs> I don't know how much of that you can see. I bet you can see that or that, but probably not both. I kind of want to turn this. Oh, that's cute. I've been looking at it upside down. I'm going to use my multicolors and be brazen and just go for it. I'm going to scoop up a bunch of colors. And see if I can keep from uh, completely messing that up. How about I use my bamboo skewer to let that color spread over at the bottom. And then run it up through the point. I'm not using much of that point, I gotta tell you what. And I can dip that bamboo skewer right in and get all kinds of cool colors right out of my pan of colors. And paint will merge with paint, so if you put a little paint on your skewer, 
and then pull it down. Actually, I really like that over there. Just ever so slightly. I am having such a good time. I recommend this. You, it might take a little practice to get it right, but um, it's really kind of fun. It's a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> I, I'm going to steal some paint over here and try, and try and use what I've got for colors and repeat them. without giving up too many of them. I am going to use the flat end of my bamboo skewer and steal some colors. And add some dots. Because again, the name of my book on the Amazon link, go figure. Let's do that down there. You can just rest the tip of that bamboo skewer in. And you can roll your bamboo skewer across blank parts of canvas on the bottom or the edges and blend things, cover things very nicely with a nice little layer of paint you might require. I'm glad I noticed I was missing a whole bunch of paint. Not that anybody's ever going to get down on the ground and look underneath the canvas, but um, that's pretty cute. That means I've got two minutes left to tell you guys to shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you. It helps me out. And to please, please, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out more. Because if you give me a thumbs up and you watch more of my videos, the YouTube algorithm knows that you do that. And then, yeah, talking and working, interesting concept. Um, <laughs> then they place my videos in places where more people can find them. That was cool. I like how that worked. And I'll keep coming back as often as I can, which for as long as I've been doing this, has been every day. Which reminds me, I really want to say thank you to everybody who's contributed to help keep me painting. And uh, there's, an, there's always a contest on the end screens. Well, so far anyway, as long as I'm alive, there will be. Um, and making videos, there will be. And uh, if you contribute to help keep the studio rolling, you'll be automatically entered in that contest, which is a cool thing. I think there's five or six paintings to choose from for the winner, whoever the winner is this month. I'm going to grab my, I'm going to dip, <laughs> dip my bamboo skewers end. And um, boy, I'm getting pretty close to being really happy with this. And when that timer goes off shortly, it'll be all over. No matter what it is, I kind of want to climb onto my stool and see. I might do part two, but I think it's really pretty good the way it is. I think I ought to leave it alone. Um, my paint pouring recipe is under the video. So are my links for Instagram and Pinterest and Twitter. I give classes, and I will do tomorrow, um, at the house in Spring Hill, indoor classes, Spring Hill, Florida. I do sell my artwork. If you're interested, please contact me through my website, which is one of the last four screens. Floor there's four little blocks on the end screens in the last 20 seconds and that's where you can find my website the contest the exhibition of artworks a place to subscribe and um, my playlist with over 762 videos on it so please give me a thumbs up as i asked you and if you are inclined to binge on videos try and watch a few commercials it really really helps tell the youtube algorithm to keep putting me in good places where people can find me one more bud. All right, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery going, I got to convince myself not to do anything more to this and just go ahead and do another one because I got a lot of paint left and I don't think this one needs to have me ruin it. It's pretty simple and that's okay. So let me get up on my little stool before the timer goes off and that, that way I can see what you can see. Yeah, you can almost see all of it.